What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Seth, and we are back again some more Elder Scrolls Blades, my reptiles. How y'all doing today? Hope you're doing fantastic and wonderful. Hopefully, this video makes your day even better. So, we're gonna end up doing some of these main quests today. I wanted to show you our character is looking beautiful because I've actually changed some of our gear up. Quite a few things have actually changed since the last episode. Most notably, they ended up nerfing the loot crate system a little bit. So, silver crates normally would take three hours to complete. Now, they just take one hour. And so long as a crate, I, I didn't know this, but so long as a crate is sitting here and already ready to open, we can actually start getting another one ready and another one ready and another one ready. So I've actually unboxed uh, a bunch of silver crates already. And in it, we ended up getting some pretty nifty stuff, which I'm going to show you over here uh, at our blacksmith. Because I actually forged these items up. I didn't even know we could do this, but I ended up going into the crafting... So uh, through this menu, we can end up uh, augmenting our gear, making it more powerful and taking more resources to end up doing so. And you can see uh, kind of behind my face cam here, we've got the Iron Sword of Embers. So this is actually awesome because it's our first two-handed sword. Uh, we ended up getting that out of a silver chest and I forged it up once so that it's a little bit more powerful and it does in fact keep up with, uh, I, I think anyways, I'm hoping that it does, keep up with the uh, DLC sword that we ended up getting, or, well, if you call it DLC, the early access sword. So you can see that uh, down here we've got the Watcher's Blade. So just to compare the stats right here, you can see that uh, the total damage on the Watcher's Blade is 56, but on top of it, it's got much, much higher DPS because, of course, we can attack with it, uh, you know, a lot more often. Wait, is it a two-handed sword, or does it just give us an option to use it uh, two-handedly. I think that's the point. So the DPS is considerably less on the Ember Sword. However, this sword actually has 29 fire damage on top of its base damage. I don't know whether or not we have to actually um, use soul gems and stuff like that to restock the fire damage. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a proper two-handed sword. I'm pretty sure this is just essentially an extra 26 damage or whatever it was, right? So as far as I'm concerned, that's better. Uh, I also ended up uh, augmenting our Curus, so you can see it's actually considerably more defense. Because in order for us to forge steel gear, we actually have to get our town to level 2. So we're going to try and do that today as well, if we can. Um, I want to try and keep all of our uh, main smithies and all of that stuff down at the bottom there. So I'm going to end up building a house, a, a dwelling up here what the dwellings end up doing is you can see our town level is one uh, and then we've got our prestige level right there I, I think it means that we have 975 or maybe that's how much we need so let's actually construct this house which apparently is going to take six minutes that's getting us ever closer to that next uh next prestige level and in order to, you know in order to end up uh, getting to town level two we have to end up getting that extra amount of prestige so we just put a dwelling down i guess the homestead and the house are the exact same thing but just give us an option of different looks so let's actually throw this down which that one's gonna take considerably more time what's the point wait i should have actually looked at that because i think that costed a lot more resources didn't that Oh, I see. They're just costing more and more time to end up crafting, giving us more and more uh, prestige. So it seems like we're probably not going to get to see that today, but we will be able to get our town to level two, which means that we can level up our smithy. It's going to take a lot of resources and uh, then we can end up upgrading that and so on and so forth. Either way, let's open this silver and gold chest together. I made sure to save the gold chest for you guys so that we could see it uh all in one hide gauntlets okay i don't really care what are these gold chests i'm very curious this should be giving us some seriously good gear that is actually a lot of items uh so we got fine steel war axe of sparks that's uh considerably more base damage and dps but that's just because it's a one-handed weapon so i really hope i didn't make a mistake investing in this two-handed weapon the other thing too is when we end up getting the perk um for berserking so that we can end up doing a, a plus seven additional damage as well on top of uh everything else open the store no go away i want to actually take a uh take a look and see because i think that i've got 
Do I have do I have more skills or did I already get that skill point? Because we're already level five right now. Okay, so I got us absorb. Everyone was actually uh, recommending me to get this. So this actually is a magic signal that appears instantly. It negates up to 31 damage directed to the caster and averts 100% of it into healing. So it's pretty good for a melee character because we can just literally use that uh, to keep ourselves stronger. And then, okay, I did end up getting this. Uh, so this is plus seven uh, more damage with heavy weapons. So I don't know whether or not the game is actually considering that right now uh, or if it just you know isn't actually telling us i also noticed that we can end up increasing our inventory space so i did end up doing that i should actually just break down a lot of the items that we got let's let's actually explore the alien ruins because i'm oh we'll get a gold chest out of this too i'm i'm pretty confident we can take this because we've taken uh you know we've taken a three uh three skull difficulty before i think uh one thing too i wanted to kind of talk about here if i can hopefully keep my train of thought what is that Oh, fabric. Okay. Is uh, anybody else noticing the over amount of negativity lately? Not only just with Elder Scrolls Blades, it's a prime example of it, but just on YouTube in general. Like, I think um, I was talking about this and it really, really frustrates me because generally I'm a very positive type of person and I like to be very unbiased about certain things. So it's like with this game, you know, it's gained a horrible horrible reputation for being like no oh, bethesda's so cash up it's so pay to win and all this junk and i'm just sitting here thinking did any of these oh gosh did any of these morons whoa okay that's considerably more damage did any of these morons that ended up making all these complaint articles and videos and stuff like that uh, you think they're just doing that for the views and for the clickbait just because negativity ends up getting more of a response than positivity because i'm just sitting here thinking have these people ever even played phone games before? Because as far as a phone game is concerned, Elder Scrolls Blades is considerably good as far as their cash shop is concerned. Like, yes, you can end up buying chess. Uh, you can end up unboxing chess. Are these traps? It looks like it's a trap. But you can end up buying chess or they're time gated to open otherwise. But it's like, so long as you're not trying to like try hard this game, in which case, why are you doing that with a phone game anyways? It's like, oh my gosh, this is so much more powerful. Like, seriously, that is that is crazy. But it's like, so long as you're just kind of playing a phone game casually, which to me is how a phone game is meant to be played. Hey, it's our first skeleton. Get over here, buddy. I got gotcha. you. I don't even care if you block me. You can go ahead and try. You know what? Let's use this absorb spell. Go ahead and hit me. <laughs> That's right. You just healed me. Also, what just happened there? Oh, we had to like tap it again to you. Oh no, he was using a mana potion. I didn't want to actually do that. Rip. That's the first time I've ever seen that mana potion prompt. But it's like every phone game in existence is as pay to win as they come. This is nothing new to phone games. And the big difference that I would say with Elder Scrolls Blades and why I actually really love it and would uh, definitely recommend it is because not only is it a fun game just because it's very grindy and I love grindy games, what can I say? Uh, but these random dungeons and stuff like this is all I could have ever wanted from an Elder Scrolls game was infinite content, you know, even if it's just kind of like very simple phone game stuff. I still love it. Ooh, we just got some gems off that guy. That's really, really lucky, even though it was just one. So I, I mean, I guess we can use that for something. Let's use that ability. Heal me up, little skeleton. Get out of the way as well, please. Oh, we have to just defeat enemy. Oh, no, that's just one of our uh, quest lines or... And not quest lines, kind of mini achievements or whatever so that we can end up getting more coin. But anyways, my point is, I, you know, this game is nothing out of the ordinary as far as a cash shop game. And I mean, the big thing you got to consider, like, are we, look at this. We're not seeing any ads. There's no like boost the timer of your chest by watching video ads or anything like that, which arguably would actually be pretty good for this game. Because I think it would end up making people stop complaining as much about the chest timers. But I don't really care about the chest timers because I literally will just play this game for a little bit and then I stop for a couple hours if even play it once a day, you know what I mean? And that casual way of playing it means that I'm not sitting here like whining and complaining about these things. Anyways, I didn't mean to go on a tangent here or anything like that, guys and gals, but I just wanted to kind of express how much I actually enjoy this game despite the fact that it's getting a really, really bad rep. And I feel that that is very, very unjustified. This is a secret if I've ever seen it. Hey, it is. Okay, cool. We ended up twisting that gem and one out of two secrets. 
Okay. I kind of have an idea where the other secret is. I wonder if there's like a map. Oh, there. We actually just got the chest or the key in order to end up going into that other area. So maybe that's just our secret. Otherwise, it kind of like there was another area that kind of looked like there would be a secret there. Man alive. That is a lot of resources. And look at that. They're not pay to win. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, you can spend money to get it, but it's like, seriously, dude, change the record with all the complaints and negativity on the internet lately. Like, the, the last game that did that, too, before this one was Anthem. You guys remember that train wreck? That's a pretty good game, too, all things considered. It's just everyone just blows it way out of proportion and thinks, like, oh, this game's not the best ever. It's not everything that they promised us. Like, no surprise, guys. There's our other secret. Awesome, dude. So we actually got both secrets there and that looked like that looked like it was like a silver chest or something so i'm i'm excited about that because we like i only i got this sword out of a silver chest so it makes me wonder what can we end up getting out of a gold chest because we can probably get some pretty decent stuff dude like i'm really really excited about it even though it's like it's kind of disappointing that that's kind of where you get everything in this game let's do that back step move that literally did not block any of the damage like it said it would because <laughs> i think the point is he's supposed to dodge back and then come forward with an uh, uh, attack you know completed explore the alien runes oh oh that's right this was like a main quest area that's why the area i guess is a little bit more refined than just a normal generic random dungeon or maybe it's not maybe this is just what you would always end up seeing i don't know because we've never actually seen the alien runes or anything like that yet what was that crocodile skin or something like Jeez Louise, there's so many, look at this. There's so many items around here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I mean, it's a lot easier for you guys to see all these items. Like I've noticed in editing, it was like way easier because otherwise you gotta remember, I'm playing this on a teeny weeny little phone screen. Uh, the crypt cannot be opened at this time. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess that's it. I guess that's all we were supposed to do. Uh, we got an alien warrior statue. All right, I guess we'll just complete the quest. I don't think there was anything else there, but that's pretty neat. I'm guessing that's just like a cosmetic item, like a vanity item that we could throw in our town, right? Because I know that there's a lot of, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of, there's a lot of things you can end up doing with your town. Whoa, okay. So what did you find? An ancient tomb, lots of undead and an empty sarcophagi. Uh, like, does our character have to be the most generic loser ever and never make a joke? I mean, I guess the jokes are pretty cringe when with us writes them though, right? An alien sarcophagus? Yeah, that's why I said, you stupid cat. It is possible there was some sort of wardening enchantment on the statue. Uh, destroying the statue would have broken the spell and released whatever was trapped in there. That would explain the burst of magic energy that people witness. What magic energy are you talking about, Sashi? Uh, Sashi will see for herself and find out more, now that it is safe. By the way, old Hendrik Seven Swords was looking for you earlier. You should seek him out near the West Gate. What the? Get away from me, you crazy, disgusting old woman. Like, what is with that? All right, here, let's put this medium decoration. The decoration must be planted in a medium spot. Oh, <laughs> silly me. I should have known what a medium spot was. Like, what does that mean? Is this a medium spot? Is that what they mean? Must be put in a medium location. Okay, that's a large spot. Where, Where is a medium spot? That's a small decoration. You know what? I don't care. I'll find that out later. Either way, let's go and talk to whoever this guy is. I don't know who all these characters are. What was that? Wall? Whoa! These walls were built by the Empire a few centuries ago. We can change the walls? That's interesting. All right, stupid old other man. Well, well, Scoot Booth, it's been a long time. <laughs> Who are you? I was wondering when I'd see your ugly mug again. <laughs> it's good to see you too, um, random bald guy. Don't get used to it. I'm getting old for this world keeps finding new ways to try and kill me. Ha, <laughs> that'll be the day. I, I said I wanted jokes and now I've got them and I'm not liking it anymore. <laughs> I have to say I was a bit worried when I heard the Emperor had agreed to the old married Dominion's terms. Shut up! Lore, lore, lore. I... What can I say? I, like, I kind of got lost with the lore in these more recent uh, Elder Scrolls games. Outlawing the bandits, slaughtering them in the streets. I wasn't sure you'd survive. Well, I did have the best teacher once. 
This is my old senpai. We can spar later. For now, more pressing matters are at hand. An informant tells me there are some blood full queen mercenaries near Falcon Hills Keep. I've also been associated with a queen. The informant has a lot to tell. Oh, yes, he's quite talkative. Care to pay these thugs a visit? Uh, I think I will. Sure, I don't really want to do it right now. Let me know if my informant was right. What's on your mind? Um, nothing important. We'll talk later. Farewell, my young pet one. Okay. Weirdo. Now, what I want to see here is, uh, first of all, we got to get this guy's quest. But I, I also wanted to double check. How much does it cost to repair this stupid sword? Because I'm guessing this fire sword is probably, like, it's probably pretty uh, expensive. Ooh. Well, it's honestly not as expensive as our other armor, but uh, I, I don't know if repair all equipment is repairing all of our equipment in our inventory or just all the stuff that we have equipped because it doesn't seem like it's updating right now. It still says it's at 129. So is that a glitch? Could I just say repair all right now and then it would take even more gold? So I want to leave and then I just want to end up going back in just because I, I just want to take a quick little peek. And see, what if I try to repair all now? Just because there are glitches like that sometimes in these games. Okay, now it says it's at zero, so at least I know I can just use that function. I wasn't sure if it was repairing all the other items that were just in my inventory. You know, even the ones that I'm not using. Which wouldn't have made sense, but... Do I know you? Um, I don't know. My name's Scoothy Woof. Uh, Sex plays, actually. No, Scooth, I don't like you. What do you do about... No, about the goblins. Filthy little creatures, all of them. They've infested the hills just north of here. The Empire has posted a bounty for each goblin killed. Sure, why not? Good, return to me when the deed is done. See, like, all these dumb fetch quests and stuff work a lot better in this game than they did in a game like Skyrim. That's that's my own opinion towards it anyways. Like, I think that this game works very well like this. Here we go. We got five. We got one of each. Cool. So we'll do this five-second chest. Because that's easy peasy. We can open that today, right here, right now. And we got a hide shield, which I can end up uh, dismantling for something. And then I guess maybe I'll open the silver and then I'll start opening that gold one another time. But I think that's going to do it for today because I, I know we only did one dungeon, but there was a lot of stuff that we had to talk about. And I've got some other stuff that I got to do right now. That's the great thing about this game, though, is I like the fact that it's so pick up and play. Sometimes we'll do one dungeon. Sometimes we'll do a bunch who knows, right? But either way, hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, sub, hit that notification bell. And if you want to support me, there's all sorts of ways that you can do that. You can sponsor the YouTube channel with that join button down below. Buy some of the real life merch, which is in the description, uh, as well as those other support links, including Gawkbox. So if you got a phone, if you got, uh, you know, if you got Elder Scrolls Blades, you can actually go to the Gawkbox link with your phone. And quite literally, it just tells you play this phone game until level five or play this phone game for 20 minutes or something like that. Then you'll end up earning a currency with which you can end up spending on my channel in the form of tickets. And if you end up saving those up and spending them on my channel during a live stream, they'll actually show up during the stream. Cool, right? Thanks for watching, though. Regardless, everybody, sign on and stay epic.